the Corinth Canal has a strategical position in the center of Greece. It's a trench on the ground that depicts human effort against nature's constraints. During antiquity, there was Dilkos, a stone-paved road which was used to pull ships from one gulf to the other. Then, the Roman Emperor Nero did the first excavation works. These facts show that people have been preoccupied by this spot for thousands of years. Finally, the mission was accomplished due to the cutting-edge technology of the 19th century. The canal is an enormous piece of infrastructure and a transport hub. Simultaneously, it is a geocultural palimpsest whose value remains unknown. Due to the degradation, the site and its surrounding area are falling into oblivion. A three-axis analysis of the landscape was our basic tool in order to draw conclusions and give shape to our proposition. Time, as the fourth dimension, is decoded and becomes the content of our intervention. Therefore, we aim to create a poll in which visitors face the canal's real dimensions and history. The proposition is located at a critical spot in the canal, at its highest point. It is anchored to existing uses and routes and becomes part of a larger network, both on land and sea. The proposition consists of three entities. A bridge as an exposition about the canal, a building as a museum about its history, and a tower as a research space. Each one confronts a different Cartesian dimension. In this way, we create a network which allows people to experience the canal section on different levels and layers. The project had to face various constructional challenges linked to the canal's particular morphology and geological consistence. To conclude, the past shows that Greece, despite an economic crisis, managed to accomplish both a technical and financial feat. So, the proposition re-establishes the vision of a public project that could help Greek economy flourish, while at the same time it would constitute a social, scientific and cultural pole.